probably most of you out in the audience. Uh, I was born in Big Ivy, but uh, not, it's not far from here. But my grandparents lived uh, up the creek, and uh, we lived uh, in the area in the 40s and 50s. And I went to Walnut Grove School in the, I think, second or third grade, maybe <coughs> seventh and eighth grade. So I'm very familiar with the area. Uh, Today I'd like to talk about the close relationships that uh, exist, the kinship existed on just about everybody in, on the creek. Uh, I would also quiz my grandparents on who was this, uh, these neighbors, how they related to us. And I was simply amazed at the relationships that existed and as I did more and more research I'm still more amazed at how the interaction and intermarriage between these families happened. And I won't go back as far as David did. I'll, I'll go back to the 1920s. In 1921, uh, the mail carriers were Garl Franks. Not Carl, but Garl Franks. Uh, he kept a journal of who lived where, who was in the household. And if you follow his journal, you can start one place and follow all the way up the creek. And uh, as an example, I won't go through all the names, but as an example, I'll start on at Florence Road and come up uh, <coughs> on the street. My first family was Frank Austin, Thomas Frank Austin. And uh, he married, he was a, uh, an ancestor or a de descendant of Stephen Austin. <coughs> he married Liney Johnson, whose mother was in Austin. Uh, when his first wife, wife passed away, he married Maggie Bennett which was my great-grandmother's half-sister. She was a direct ancestor, uh, descendant, I keep saying it, ancestor, but she was a descendant of Stephen Austin. Uh, they're all buried in the cemetery right out here, uh, close to uh, Stephen Austin's grave. And uh, in passing, they had a daughter named Zuba. Her nickname was Zuki. Everybody on the creek at that time had a nickname. Uh, and she was the first person that was attended to by Shackleton Funeral. She's buried right out here also. Uh, traveling on down the road, we come to Robert Johnson. And if I remember right, uh, he lived in a, they lived in a log cabin. Uh, his mother was an Austin. Uh, he married Minnie Austin, was his first wife, a descendant of Stephen Austin. And after the death of his first wife, he married Icy Strickland, who was my great-grandmother's youngest sister. And she was not an Austin, but she was a Milligan. And the Milligans, Austins, I think Seaton's, uh, Sarah Wolf families there intermarried uh, together. So they're all, all connected. And then we come to Henry Lamb next. Henry Lamb was a descendant of Stephen Austin. He was first married to Martha Ann Austin, also a descendant of Stephen Austin. And there he right out here in, in uh, Hollis Creek Cemetery. And after the death of his first wife, he married Lizzie Bennett. And her mother was an Austin. Descendant of Stephen Austin. <laughs> and uh, Henry, Henry Lamb was heavily involved in the Hollis Creek. He was, he was in uh, the 18... Probably from the 1870s on to his death in 1929. He was heavily involved in and, uh, with the church here in Hall Spring. The next household is Randall Brunton, my grandfather. Uh, he, the Bruntons are not are fairly new to the area. They came in the 1850s. So we, we came into Lawrence County and we, I think, it's my <coughs> estimation that he came in, uh, my ancestor came in to work at Factory Hall. It was a factory at Factory Hall. And that's another story, and uh, it's still a mystery to, to a lot of people on what was done at that factory. Uh, and he married uh, Eula Long, my grandmother, and she, her grandmother was a Austin. <laughs> the next household around the bend was Jim Popcorn Atkinson. A lot of you may remember Popcorn and, and OSHA. And uh, OSHA was a direct descendant of Stephen Austin. The next house was that of Minerva Austin. She was also called Aunt Minerva by the community. She was a black lady. 
She was very much loved by the community. She she took care of people. She stayed up with the sick. She stayed with, with people that needed help. And she was very much uh, thought well of by the community. And I could go on and on down the creek and tie everybody to Stephen Austin, but I'm going to quit at this point. Uh, thank you for inviting me to talk today. remarks from Brian Newton. Uh, he's with the Natchez Trace Genealogical Society and he also has a connection to the Austin. <laughs>